All right, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, citizens of YouTube. It's Pastor Dow. I went to bed last night. I tried to get in bed early. I got in bed somewhere along about 9, 30, 10 o'clock. Um, I had it in my mind about Syria. And let me go this, let me go this route. There are many of us out there would have loved to believe that our government had nothing to do whatsoever at all with 9-11. Well, it seems like, you know, the same mistakes is being done again. Um, now, I don't agree if it was the case, and let me say it like that. Especially if a government uses chemical weapons on its own people, I don't agree with it. But when I came back in here, I went through my archives and started looking at some of the videos I had done on Syria in the past, and I started thinking, okay, let me see. Syria turned in their chemical weapons because the pressure that the United States of America had already put on them. Then I thought, let me see, Secretary, or Secretary of State then Clinton uh, was very bullish on Syria and she actually wanted to attack them. Um, the left, they really got some, some trouble on their hands now. And the reason why they have trouble on their hands now is because Syria is an ally of Russia, and Russia is an ally of Syria. And if Donald Trump was in the back pocket of Russia, then why would he turn around and go ahead and attack Syria? Last night, the U.S. Navy launched 50 U.S. Tomahawk missiles uh, into the airfields and different government places in the Syria. Uh, allegedly, the response for the chemical attack. Notice I said allegedly, because we all know um, how America lives by the bomb. And I'm almost for certain, with all these years of living by this bomb, um, we're going to feel it. We're going to feel it, and one day uh, there's going to be a lot of dying on this soil by bombs. But the circus already starts and it begins, and it kind of makes you wonder what is going on in this place. Why is America so warmongering? Hmm? Why do we feel like we have to actually go around and be the police of the whole entire world? This one is shaping up uh, to be another one of those false flag things where you go in and you stir up something, make up something because have we seen any of the carnage? I haven't seen any of the carnage. I'm still waiting for it. I've been looking for it. The carnage of results of, of a chemical weapons has actually been used. Um, well, we're going to see, ain't we? We really, truly going to see. We're really, truly going to see. Of course, I myself personally, when I see situations like this, it, it takes my mind right back to preparing. It takes my mind right back to uh, get yourself ready because you just never, never know. Um, whenever things go awry in this country, and you wish you had at least two, three years of food storage on hand. Most people don't even have one week of food storage. And I tell you what. I'm so happy that I have the mindset that I have, that I don't trust um, whatever the news media or anybody else is putting out and selling. I really do know. And most, most people have to have actually some type of disaster to take place in their lives before they would actually get off their full point of contact and actually do something. I want to do a little bit more investigation here. And then I'm going to try to wade through the muck and the mire. Uh, I just don't understand, you know, now I get home and I look at this, I don't understand why would Assad carry out a chemical attack when he knows 100% that he's going to get blamed for it and that will be the prelude of America going in. Now, America's got some trouble on their hands. I mean, we got... Afghanistan, we got Iraq, and we got all these other little missions that are going on all across the world that is never, ever, ever reported 
by the mainstream news media because they simply don't know. Uh, we have North Korea that is just cutting a literal food. China, you going to do something about North Korea? No, I ain't going to do nothing about North Korea. Well, you better do something about North Korea. If you don't, we're going to do something about North Korea. No, we ain't going to do nothing about North Korea. reason why we have to go groveling at China because China has loaned us so much money. I guess they feel like that they got America right around the neck, right around the noose. Of course, then if they do that, then we, America trade. Sweatshops and everything else be compromised. So I guess we, we China and the United States holding each other like this, <laughs> choking the life out of each other. It is it's something. Um, but the only thing that keeps ringing in my mind is prepare.